local people, important issues. CBS 10 WILM's weekly focus on the Lower Cape Fear region. This is Byline Wilmington with your host, Don Enzel. Good morning, a very happy new year, and welcome to our first program of 2009. Well, have you been to the movies lately? At a time when the economy, the auto industry, Wall Street, and retail are in crisis, the country's film industry seems to be holding its own. This is important to North Carolina and to this region because it contributes to both economies. Today, we're looking at the film industry from a local perspective with our guests, the executive vice president of a Wilmington EUE Screen Gem studio, Bill Vassar, and the director of the Wilmington Regional Film Commission, Johnny Griffin. Thank you both for joining us. Before we get into the nuts and uh, bolts of our discussion, what could the impact of a, a SAG strike be, uh, Bill? Well, uh, it would keep a lot of people out of work. And the people who, uh, in, in the industry, that would be most impacted here are the carpenters and riggers and gaffers, uh, makeup people, hair people, location people. And they it's a Screen Actors Guild, but it would keep those people if there's no work. No one works. And it's similar to what we experienced last year with the writer strike, yeah. where we went two and a half, three months, uh, and, and everything was dead. It was tumbleweeds going so through the studio. So people say, well, North Carolina is a right to work state. Uh, does that have any advantage? Or once they're on strike, that's it for everybody? Johnny? Yeah, it really doesn't have any effect on it. The shows come here um, working under a SAG contract. Um, and so if the company uh, has decided that they're going to, um, to honor that, then it, it affects the shows here as well. So. And we won't know that till m mid or the end, uh, end of January, end of mm -hmm. this, this month. They're, they're uh, uh, taking a poll of the membership uh, to see if uh, uh, they're going to allow leadership the uh, okay to call a strike has if, that if necessary. Has that slowed projects from coming here it has. in the last what, month, maybe? Oh, or? I'd say the last, Johnny, what, three, less, four months? Because nobody knows what's going to happen. Well, the, the current contract expired June 30th. So right now they're working without a contract, which um, has put a lot of projects in limbo because projects don't want to go out there and get started um, with the threat that a, a vote could be taken at any time to potentially call a strike. Uh, and stop production. And, and stop production. Mm -hmm. they're, they're talking about doing the vote now, and that's something that has been discussed for months. Uh, and so nobody's really wanted to move forward on projects. All right, let's put, if you can for a minute, SAG issues aside and get our, uh, your perspectives on how healthy, other than this hold, how healthy the industry is first in general, and then we'll talk about the state and the, uh, the local region. Johnny, what are you hearing about the industry in general? Industry in general seems to be um, healthy as it ever has been as far as producing projects. A uh, number of projects are still up. Box office sales are, are still up. Uh, there's still a great need for product of all types. Uh, every day that goes by, we have new technology, and we're seeing more needs for, um, you know, products that will be seen on, on iPhones and telephones. And, and is that translating to the state? Uh, not yet, but I mean, I, as new uh, new means of showing product are, are developed, then that means there's new product that is needed, uh, and so we're certainly monitoring that to see what we can do to, to get into those different areas. Um, so the industry itself has been healthy as far as you know product being produced. What about activity at the studio, Bill, this year? Uh, as far as uh, 2008, it was fairly healthy. It was, we had a very, very good year. Uh, as compared to 2007? 2007, you really can't compare it to because we had a $60 million film that went, took us through the stratosphere as far as activity. Uh, comparing it that? to previous, what's that? What film? It was a independent film, still being edited, called Bolden. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's about the life of uh, Buddy Bolden, yeah. who really invented jazz. So, and $60 it was actually, million dollar film. $60 million. It's and business. it's actually two films. It's a black and white film that Wynton Marcellus will use uh, as part of a multimedia display when he goes on tour in 2010. Uh, and then there's the full length color. Picture. There are, and I'm sure you've heard, a lot of comparisons uh, being made now to the times of the Great Depression. Uh, the film industry was very successful during those times because uh, people wanted an escape, mm -hmm. and they escaped to the likes of Shirley Temple and big movie musicals. Any comparisons in your mind then to now, Bill? I, I think it's 
really tough to say at this time. Uh, we sure hope it, 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 that's the case, that people will want content. But as Johnny said, there are so many different ways to get content these days. You can get it through iPhone, through computer. Uh, I, I think the studios are amazed if you said to them five years ago that people under the age of 25 would be watching television and film on their computer desktops, uh, they'd say you're on crazy. Your, uh, on your cell phones? Yes. I, I, doesn't that increase the demand for product? It does. It, uh, you know, during the Depression you had radio and you had film and, and that was it. Uh, now there's so many different ways to view product, so um, I just don't know that we're still going to see the box office maintain like it did then. But the demand for product would be up. Demand for product, yes. Right, um, and, and um, uh, cable channels, mm -hmm. they, they, they just d devour film of mm -hmm. movies. And television shows. They're now creating uh, original television. The USA Network, and each one of them has their own brand. Uh, uh, USA is, uh, we, we have characters, we are characters, and they are making television shows specifically to reflect that, uh, such, such as Monk. Uh, Lifetime Network with, with, with Army Wives, it's something specifically targeted towards women, and Lifetime is a women's network. Should this not filter down to uh, business for, uh, for this region, since we're such a big player? Or like we, to say we are. We certainly hope so. I think we've got to wait and see what um, what the companies are doing. Television, we're starting to see now some of the networks making some uh, cutbacks in the production of product. Um, a lot of the, the cheaper product, uh, we're, we're having to wait and see how that's going to be produced, how it's going to be made. Um, of course, then you have the, the, the Leno announcement, which exactly could that, change Exactly. It, I mean, that's taking scripted hours out of television. Um, and, and that's something that is going to affect a lot of people, including us. I mean, that's a, a network that we've done work here with before, NBC Universal. Uh, and if they've got less programming that they're doing now, then those are less options for us to be considered for. Uh, I don't know how familiar our viewers may be with what the uh, Wilmington Regional Film Commission does, Johnny. Uh, uh, just a short outline. Sure. In a nutshell, viewers. we're a, a marketing agency uh, responsible for uh, recruiting projects to 11 counties in southeastern North Carolina. Uh, our job is to, to promote the assets of this region, whether they be the, the studio, the crew, the vendors, uh, the locations, the looks of the region. Uh, so if a project wants to come here, you also help with uh, finding crews and situating? We, we let them know what we have. We don't act as an employment agency. We don't specifically find them crew, but we let them know what crew we have, what technicians we have. Ultimately, we don't want them to bring anybody or anything into this region unless it's a conscious decision that they've made. We don't want them to, to do that for fear that it doesn't exist here. So our job is to make sure that they're aware of every resource that is available here locally, hopefully get them to spend their money locally uh, before they consider bringing anything else into the region. We're going to come back with more. We're talking about the film industry uh, in our region and then in the state. Uh, it's Hollywood, it's uh, L.A., and then Wilmington. We'll find out. Stay with us.